do again I'm willing to salt um, but today we painting about Mega Man Battle not Mega Man Battle oh, that sorry Mega Man 11 we're going to be trying to do this is hit pass a whole bit and again guys just like my last stream it was, was going to be the only stream you guys will get for me playing any type of our Royal game on my channel. Well, my cat just now went on me to my leg. But yeah, I just finished up the stream I just did on YouTube for the Battle of Royal. It'd probably be the only Battle of Royal game you guys will see me I will play. So because I normally don't like playing Battle of Royal games, I only I did it to you guys to give to, to give you guys a little treat. Because you guys have been amazing people with not just me but with a lot of people. You guys have been amazing. And with helping the channel grow. Well, the champ go apart. Okay, so I know we don't say this with in the videos because I don't want to sound like I'm trying to get you guys to advertise the channel. This is something I don't want to, like I have to kind of do. But today I'm going to just basically hex you guys within doing the outro, okay? This one is in the level I was. I'm hoping that will allow us to get to one hour part in the stream. Guys, this actually is a level that I'm hoping for. That will, that will actually, actually get to one hour point. Um, 
this video. I don't know if it will get us to on how I guess we could technically could do is is we paid the level that we have done to so to basically just Like basically, so you guys. Oh, try to make it longer if we actually get in. Like we fall, freaking one owl. It's up. Um, I'm. I'm going out of spectacles to comment on guys. Second, I have to see how long this is going on for. But like, uh, yeah, I do feel like this was something that the bubbles of the game felt was needed. And like in my last Mega Man's game, about uh, stream, I actually hope that they do decide to revive the Mega Man series like this. I guess this was a way of them saying that. I haven't forgotten about the blue bus though. Come on. For the blue bomb. -o. Still going strong. I legit still can't believe they added mini little mini little devils to the game. And I do know you can't have like a level devil superpower. I think this is the one that will probably likely help us continue on. Oh man, we completed it within eight minutes, guys. Man, because I know if I make try to do the ending now, I won't have a video for the next. In three days, besides, and that's it. This is something. Eyes make man like me trying to be something like I don't know. Uh, I like my no nine, me trying to beat my no nine.
difficulty in this own right is a hard game. Me try and beat Don Bolt. I mean, like, you guys might like that. Me try and just playing Don Bolt. You're bad at it. There's some stuff in Gumbo I can't beat. I never actually knows that on oh, Mega Man. It's a helm. Bro, tons of power. Once I doesn't have it, well, the other one does. It kind of might looks like he has kind of like a um one side headset of Bluetooth. Yeah, it kind of looks like he has a fancy design Bluetooth. Guess I can show you guys what happens when you get game over, but it's just basic game over stuff. I feel like there's not even a secret boss in this game, guys. Now then, it was either this one. Oh, the next one. What's that? Next one? Yep, it was the next one. Damn. Uh, this 
tells me we got stuff to do. It's not like a new game plus guys, I just know I look for a new game plus. Okay, episode 6, first two for episode 6. Wait, wait, now what are we going to do for about 44 minutes? I guess we can do this is each one of these over again in hopes of gaining the hit to basically up to one hour. Yeah, let's just do that. And she just spoke pencil. To make it a challenge. Really? Spike boots. Yo, stop! What was that? Ah, uh, just the sound of notifications. I know, guys, you cannot exit out power gear mode. I mean, double gear mode. You cannot exit out of it. Yeah, you can't accept out double gear mode, guys. Oh, oh man. I mean, like, I guess I technically could show you guys do after episode 6 I have a video about just me basically speed one trying to speed run the game. For you guys. I don't know how like that might like, how that might look. Oh, man.
Okay, how far are we to until we make it to the boss of this area? Legit, right now it seems like we going up trying to be a master at this game. <laughs> See, right now it's the kind of does seem like that, guys. Equip it. It's got a demon called All the Power, All Power, All the Time. In this game, Tondra's OP as a power well, because of the whole title. The the of uh, like the Tondra's power is kind of like OP in some sense. Because like you can take the a lot of damage easily. And does look a T-Rex. Oh, am I in the boss battle? Man, I thought there would have been a boss battle. A boss battle. Oh well, we can still go through the old stages, guys, and do the boss battle one. Near the end. Take that freaking double kill stuff off. Okay, you kind of don't need it.
I will also remember like there was this one game I played on the Game Boy Advance emulator. Basically, it was almost like a Mario in a way. But I can never get past the first boss. It was like there was ham construction site and then there was hammers and hog has and basically you had to basically use the hammer. It was oh, it's kinda of hard to explain but it's almost like a Mario mix with Mega Man. Hey, your walk here is done. Seems like those scissors and Here. Yeah, it was kind of like a Mario. Is like it was kind of like a Mega Man mix with Mario game. But it had like this construction site, and I don't know what the aim of the game was. I just know that in the construction site, you would pair this dude who has to go through levels. I have no idea what the like. What the game was about, I just know that much from the about the game. Damn it, there we go. You're probably going to double gear while I'm on now. <laughs> Quick draw. Okay, you can only enter double girl mode, guys. When your ice pretty slow.
Okay, so explosives also work. I was talking that is because there might have been like some loot. to sleepy probably episode 6 be so I don't know guys let's see here I have something that is kind of like golf that I'll be doing like I'll be doing some videos on over on Twitch But yeah, it's kind of did remind me a bit about like a bit of Ark in his own way. Wait, what? You could literally freeze that? I knew, knew that sooner. Like, seriously, man, if I only I knew that sooner.
No one actually realized how powerful that's my foot. But yeah guys, I never realized how powerful Tundra really was. If I give myself a flying fold, I could probably do a flying fold. Yeah, like once you have Tundra, you don't have to use Big Gill in this area. It seems. Oh, oh man. Okay. I guess we can do some try and do some challenges guys. I guess all we can do is, is Nah. Let's see. I will turn on. Let's look at the gallery. Lyric. Marwa C. Cross Dawn. Metal. Ailstone at the easy that dude I remember him he anytime there was like an item that I really needed he was always there freaking trying to get me and always wanted to wave at the item he says hi on the ground the sinister mockery of Mega Man's body Edie will snatch up items and carry them away. It was designed to attack Mega Man, but for some reason, it always runs away instead. Electric. Electric tree. Oh, electric tree. Baton. K John. Preston. Elect Crosso. Elect X Tondo Bio Solo C Mombi Propel AT Does that mean there's a Propel you know, I A B C D E F G X I J K L M N O S T I mean U V W X Y Z That's all Propel eyes. 
Okay, okay, that was a joke, guys. Sorry. Sniper Joe. Wasn't he in Mino 9? There was a sniper dude in the Mino 9, I think. Sniper Armor D. Spider. 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 It's just Spider with an 8. Me, Spider. Pipe, pipe, to sealed attack go. Well, we saw what sealed attack go and impact mode does to each other. They cancel each other out. They go and knock each other backwards on them for a bit. Sealed attack go M. Droppy. Bossy, wait, people, oh, I be scrap, scrap. Those were the remains of unfold simple bots who tumble into the chemical pipes. All they can do now is drag along by the acid stream. Aye, ice. For some real reason, this dude, this dude right here, reminds me of an enemy from Undertale. This robot was designed to set a wintry mood by simulating snow and charming all who see it. However, it tends to knock into people when the wind picks up. There has been complaints. I swan. This avalanche so balanced robot bombs into those with jump or oh, not jumps lumps of ice when the ice settles into spiky sauce was out. Snow Rabbit Another winter simulation robot. This one looks like a gentle rabbit bouncing through the snow with giant sunny with impressive jump legs. To help it navigate the deep snows and ice. Let me guess, people complain because of the freaking spikes, and hey, some will sometimes accidentally just jump on someone's and they get spiked. It. <laughs> Why, old rabbit? A robot for four simulations. This robot was designed to in educate campers since it's. It's supposed it to simulate a wild animal in the woods. It was designed with more nature than colors than other models. Mass boner. It gets an assist assistant robot that can heat hot plates or boil water. With the flames from its head. It hit it wants to turn off the flames. It again to make it explode. Safety wide when stressing off. I never actually tried to wide one of the mass bones before. Talk T Park can. Oh, Talk T Park can. This still well, guardian robot can rest safely behind its seal, knowing it's safe. To be impervious to the front text. Too bad you can't fire your back at the same time. <laughs> that voice, guys. I'm trying to mimic the voice from Skyrim when you put a Skylander on, though. Lamp. Oh, a lantern robot designed it to give campers the feel of the great outdoors. Rather than horse fluorescent lights, it burns gas for an authentic frame. Tank oven. A camp cooking robot that specializes in hot pots. Now upgraded for battle by Dr. Wiley. A pilot by a potato shaped 
who robot and fires kill with bombs. That's a potato said robot. Great, now I'm thinking about potatoes. Luckily tonight is Monday, so McDonald's night. Air file. The fiery version of the air song. The security bot brands in well with in fiery areas. But tends to be easy to spot in cold locations. I don't think it blends in that well. Sorry for the line, guys. Is I'm doing this thing during daytime. Mini Sparky, made to resemble a miniature Sparky. The barbecue turkey. Those robots follow Sparky around as if it really is their mother. They as innocent as they look. Are you so? Because it could run into you and do the damage. Oh, pat, pat, pat you. Or oh, headbutt you. Or oh, kick you. Or oh, slap you with those little tiny wings. Or oh, body bounce you. <laughs> Pip-Man, the high-performance construction robot was created by bolting a body onto a metal. Since it has lost its perfect defense, in instead attacks enemies on sight. Oh, okay. So basically, guys. This is, as I say, is this is actually Pikmin is actually a metal, and they bolted it, it to a body. That's why it can't defend itself because metals basically are like these head type viruses. You, when the helmet is up, you can attack them, but when the helmet is down, you can't attack them and. It, Basically, like, couple makes them like they can't attack back, but you can't attack them when the helm's down. Like, when the helmet is covering the whole body, you can't attack it because it will block all attacks. So, it's invisible, bull, bull, or impervious to all attacks when basically. Its helmet is down, but when its helmet is up, it's vulnerable to all attacks, and they tend to be pretty weak. Except for the big ones, but they do have different versions of it. Like there's a plus one. Um, like there's a basically the basic ones are leather. Then I think there's a red and blue one. But those are the only ones I do know about it. About the metals. Missile cone. This robot works as a safety inspector on construction sites. But it's also equipped with missiles for these color scene intruders. Sometimes it blows up supply trucks by mistake. Really? Really? It blows up the supply trucks? Bad missile cone. Bad. Don't find that missile at me. Arc Weldy. This very bot robot has a slightly cheaper CPU, so it tends to wield anything nearby. If left unattended, however, you can't help but wonder about that sad look in its eyes. Anything nearby if left unattended. However, you can't help but wonder about that sad look in his eyes. Yeah, it kind of does look sad. Why is that? I don't realize how sad it looks. Kuishiro. Always of the Impact Brothers. A sweet pseudo who never fails to drive. His point. Oh, Kurushi takes control when the three brothers combine to form Impact Man. 
Wait a minute, wait, wait, hold on guys. Foam Impact Man. So you tell me Impact Man is basically the Voltron and the Mega Zones. Actually no, wait, you basically tell me Impact Man is Voltron? <laughs> because Voltron basically has the five lions that combine into one super powerful mystical robot. And right now, the three battles combine to form Impact Man. The five diamonds combine to form Voltron. I think this might have been a Voltron reference. Yeah, I think this might be a Voltron reference within a box. <laughs> clever, clever game. Actually, clever people. I see a couple game designers right there. <laughs> that text. Kojiro, the middle child of the Impact Brothers. Kojiro lacks decisiveness and tends to look to his brother. Kishiro for instructions. Luckily, those instructions are just hit things. Yeah, this definitely seems like Voltron right now. Kai Sabu, the youngest Impact Brother. It says three. All three brothers. But that'd be like one, two, three, four. Who found the Oh, one, two, three. Well, it's gonna be a fifth bottle, right? The youngest impact bottle, but the most responsible after Kill Kai Shibo. He always makes time for proper maintenance, so his spike is constantly spotless. Signing and stop. God, you oh, yo. A robot sign to slow down into those by dangerous damaging their feet like a spiky cell top to drop it by a ninja stepping on a gumbo is so to leave you limp in cannon parallel 2 a new model of the popular cannon parallel flying cannon it suits now it suits now Finding a straight line, Mumu has it that actually makes them easier to dodge. Hell yeah, they do. Wild Blaster. Automatically snipes at intruders from difficult to least places on the walls and ceilings. Luckily, it doesn't have a great aim, but it can still be notorious. Bonnery Balloons A Pokemon Did I say Pokemon? I meant Program it to look like To look for lost kids At Boing Boing Park This camera But usually sticks to surveillance The balloons that hold it up have pretty heavy armor So it's a wonder how they stay in love Yeah that's one though. Tosan Arizo V. A robot created for the sole purpose of stopping people jumping across pits. Its detachable hands come in sponge and metal varieties. It always uses the metal ones. That would be good to see it use the sponge ones. Because they'd be like, No, you can't get over. You got hit with a sponge. Oh, no, you can't get over. I'll hit you with my sponge hands. <laughs> like that. Uh, <laughs> that's why I think it's a little bit funny. Boyon and X. X. So, size robot. No, not exercise. Yes, exercise that can bounce around thanks to 
the thick tough rubble protecting its inner body. It can fall off the roof of Boing Boing Park and not take any damage. It tried. It really? It tried? Oh, welcome to the stream. Um, we're not going over the gallery right now, guys. Um, if you want to go back and want to speak again, you guys can see the two areas we done today. This will be uploaded to YouTube. Biome. A cheaper version of Biome is probably what i is final and more easier appeal set, but pump massive. Okay, he actually proposed the pump young color scheme. Elnet, a modified air stone intended to defend the guild forces. The seal number of them is a testament to why he's obsessing with victory at all costs. But yeah, guys, um, you guys can rewatch, like, go back to the beginning of the video to see it, or if you miss anything, basically you can rewatch the video later on. Told, um, oh, a guardian robot attacks it with protecting black men's precious structures. The ancient looking glimpse carved into its surface are actually a fictional language invented by Blockman. Are you so it's fictional? Because they kind of look like the Twilight Fool with one. Dread Spark, a robot that stays in the heart of the power we station and delivers power when it's needed. Its dreadlocks like power cables combine it with cool shades, give it the unintended look of a ragged master. Hmm, it kind of does. Trail turns one and two. Made by modifying a theme park worker so those filling with machine compliance loop loop with crashes that make you wish yeah, they had safety belts. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, it's just a sim obey bot. The sim obey in world coasters. I never realized that until now, guys. <laughs> Cyclone W. The Grand Hills of Chemical Plant. Cleaning Robot. With its full mighty process, it can scroll an acid lab clean in 20 seconds flat. Also, faces those attachments for small process. Mega Monostro. A display robot use it for sewing off museum exhibits. It always keeps in mind the best angle to really roll the gas. The robot actually leaves the base, not the mammoth on top. So wait, that robot right there, the one that just now spins, is connected to that robot. Or that mammoth and gives it commands. <sighs> okay, guys, I think this is a chaotic reference. Sparky! Sparky is the ball peculiar turkey. Most character of Charles Man's campsite usually plays the part of the board cooked it up by Charles Man over a campfire. Now it's doing. No cooking. <laughs> Big man diggle. Those heavy diggles are insured only to the most trusted veteran workers. Robots on Big Man's, I mean on Impact Man's. AKA Bolt. AKA Voltron. Construction sites. All the other Big Man look up to the drivers of those speed disc machines 
Fog Balloon. The famous mascot bounce man's a Felix sent to Boing Boing Park. If it breaks down, Pump Man Net. Pump Man K will be there to fix it up. By the way, unfortunately, his eyes are a little scary and it often makes kids cry. Let's see you. Where are you, Impact Man? Yeah, one, two, wait, one, two, three, wait, wait, wait. hold on. How many ones will do about the, hold on, I'm going to look. I thought it was, it was four. Okay, so one, two, three. Huh. So it's the three ones, so. This one forms the left arm. Kaiju forms the right arm. Okay, so. Kai Saburu forms the left body and left feet. Well, left half of the body and left feet. Well, Kaiju forms the right half of the body and right feet. Well, Kai Ishiro forms the head, the helmet. Oh, and Jiro forms the right side of the head, and Sibu forms the left side of the head. Well, Ishiro forms the body, the legs, the bottoms of the legs, and the helmet. Behold, Behold Okay, guys. I guess I'll end this video here. Um, they all we will be streaming on Tris. I don't know when, but we will stream on Tris, guys. Let's see you what else. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. The notification. The bell icon. On you will get notified when I upload a video or go live. Oh yeah, and don't forget to share the video with your friends, it will help the channel out a lot. And see you all next time. Bye! Ho ho ho!